Hi everybody, this is Dutch Waifu and welcome to my kitchen. Hey guys, Dutch Waifu here. Now in the spirit of Easter, we're going to make some deviled eggs. First we got a bunch of boiled eggs, boiled them quite hard. I'm going to slice them through the middle. And put the eye, heart eye, yeah, egg yellow into a bowl. Take a fork and mash all the uh, all the yellow. Now, if you like it with a bit bigger pieces, you can always choose to not mash it as fine. But I like my substance of my deviled eggs quite creamy. After that's done, we're going to add a small spoon mayonnaise. Mash that good up together. Add a squirt of ketchup. Make sure you mix it up real nice. Get all those flavors in. Now we're going to take a small bit of smoked paprika powder. Now don't use too much because that smoked paprika powder, that is a kicker. And a small bit of mustard. Fix that right up there. Some curry. Curry. Mmm, it starts to smell nice already. And for that extra zesty kick, a small bit of Worcester sauce. Now you can add, if you want them more creamy, you can add some more mayonnaise. You can add some salt and pepper if you like it, but I really like this flavor a lot. So now we're going to fill up the eggs, take two small spoons, scoop it up there. Now you can also put it like in uh, one of those uh, bags with the uh, tops that you can put it in there in a nice shape. But since we're going to do it the quick and easy way, we're just going to use two spoons and just gently spoon it into the eggs. Now, don't be tacky because we got plenty of filling. Scoop it on there. Now, if you have, like, of course, your Easter party or something, you can garnish it with some parsley or something. But I usually like to put up some extra protica. Because I just like that flavor. I don't really like the taste of parsley that much. There we go. So let's take that dash of paprika. Just sprinkle that up there. Put it on a nice plate. And there you go. Quick and easy. 
deviled eggs. Have a nice one! Good morning! Dutch Waifu here! We're going to make some colored Easter eggs. So first, we're going to start by pricking a needle into the eggs for easy cooking. Turn on the stove to cook some water. I got some food coloring and we're going to put that in the glasses and divide it so that we can make some nice colors. We got yellow, red and blue, the basic colors and from that we're on we're going to mingle. Let's see if we can make a nice green. With some yellow, a little bit of blue. Blue is always really strong. Oh, that looks like a nice blue. Let's see if we can do the same with purple. Quite a bit of red, and then a tiny. That became pretty dark. And of course, let's not forget orange. With a small bit of red. Now let's come cap these back up. wait for the water to boil so that we can put the eggs in. So, we let them soak for a while in the food coloring, so let's just take them out and start peeling. And let's see what kind of colored beauty is coming out of these lovely eggies. Here's the yellow one. Continue to red. Look at that. Now you can see here I cracked the shell too much, but if you look here, see that pretty print? Now here you can see the green one, the liquid wasn't strong enough. So that's a good heads up for next time. Let's go for the blue one. I think that one is even maybe entirely blue. Now if you don't want to get this nice marbled crackel, you can just put them in directly without the peel. Look at this one, how gorgeous it came out. All blue and cacao. And 
And here's the purple one. And last but not least, the orange one. I think, estimating that I didn't put enough food coloring in the green one, that the orange one will not be that orangey. But let's just peel it and find out. Bit light, but you can see the coloring. That was it. Now we're going to put these on a nice plate and then uh, it's it's yummy Easter brunch time. Now guys, thanks for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe. A big shout out to my patrons and I hope to see you soon. Bye now!